we are ready. Lighting, I can Server get. has disconnected. May do ba sa akin? Nani? Yes, kulang. Am I out of load? Oh my. Nanyari sa hotspot ko. still have internet. Alright, let me just restart the hotspot, I guess. Mm. Are you still connected to me? Your phone? I don't know. Hindi ko na inano eh. Mukhang hindi na, kasi biglang nawala eh. Hindi na ata. Yeah, my laptop's disconnected as well. But I do still have internet. The mobile hotspot just isn't working anymore. What the heck? Why? The, the, the timing couldn't be any worse. Why did it choose not to connect now of all time? I see what's happening. Yeah, okay then. Bluetooth and mobile hotspot can't work at the same time. Can you open the air electric fan? I see. Well, this is the first time I've learned of this. Well, whatever. Uh, alright, you're back and reconnected. Let's just reconnect. Err, someone is already using that name. What? Let me just disconnect and reopen. One technical difficulties here. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to Identitatem. Discrimin. Season four lies within. Last we left off, we continue our pursuit against the deadly and formidable. Our group, our main group. <laughs> Consisting of Rosas, Sofidel, Dedma, Amy, Aya, and Sung went off to pursue Contra while the remaining people of the Angel Seekers uh, tried to hold off uh, the president 
uh, army. <laughs> Along the way, uh, the group was attacked uh, by Contrabida's uh, criminal peons and stuff. I'll just play without the Bluetooth, that should be fine. It's just a bit annoying. <laughs> In order to ensure that the party could proceed, some volunteers to hold off all of the Contrabida's minions so that the, so that the party can investigate uh, Contra's whereabouts, which leads them to Davao Hospital of Mindanao, which is apparently where the Contrabida leader boss works under the guise of a work of a member. Of the hospital. One of the doctors, para leader. Presumably. One of the specialists. Their search has got has gotten them the attraction of one Martin Martin Gale, I believe that mm. that's his full name. Yep, Martin Gale. And uh, he has volunteered with a bit of seduction on Sophie Dell's end to uh, help uh, the ladies out uh, as he's a janitor, an intern, a really clumsy one and uh, it seems uh, Sophie Dell and Aya have been caught by the clumsiness as well as they've taken quite a bit of collision damage. Uh, Aya bumped into a table at some point and Sophie Del uh, slipped because the floor was wet, and that was Martin's fault for not putting a wet floor sign. Ah, oh, yeah, I And uh, uh, and uh, yeah, Rosas caught a glimpse of Contra having a conversation with someone mysterious, and is now gonna go back to warn. The people. <coughs> right. Let's uh, let's cut back to uh, the sun for a bit. He's having a bit of an intense fight right now, and he's all battered and bloodied. And uh, there's a Is whole that? bunch of yes. There's a whole bunch of. Uh, people lying unconscious along with some monsters that are also lying unconscious and it's kind of a bit of a war zone right now and he's like these ill wielders they don't let up just how big is Contrabida I knew they would span the entire country of the Philippines but man I bet they could even take on uh, my country's uh, forces if they wanted to not that that would be a good thing and then uh, from the corner of his eye he sees a bunch of a bunch more uh, criminal thugs and uh, one of them points a gun at him surprise attack bitch and as he and he shoots at some who is uh, still uh, way too tired uh, but then a minotaur guy shows up master watch out and he bats off the bullet and it flies high into the air Thanks, Minotaur. We're all getting pretty tired here. Uh, but we need to keep holding on. Yes, Master. We shall do all we can, but I feared we might be exhausted and die soon. Don't say such words. Never give up. No one is gonna die tonight. I promise <coughs> you. Yes. Sung rally, Sung gives a rallying speech to his monsters, uh, to get them all, even though they're all the tired. A good morale boost by Sung's speech causes them to get right back into fighting. Uh, meanwhile, though, that bullet that the Minotaur uh, deflected, it's flying high up into the sky. Hey. Fun fact, people, but did you know that sometimes stray bullets, uh, they, well,
whenever bullets miss, sometimes they hit unintended targets, and uh, sometimes it takes a while, but they happen eventually. Ain't that wacky? Mm -hmm. A missed shot could someday just fall back down to the earth and hit someone totally unexpected. I've seen a new I've seen a news report of it happen once. Ain't that wacky? Anyway, uh, that wasn't important. Just a fun fact I wanted to share. Totally, totally just a fun fact I wanted to share. Anyway, back to Davao Hospital. Martin uh, gives his hand to Sofidel. Are you okay? Uh, here, let me help you back up. I... Uh, that was uh, really my bad anyway. So I'm really sorry. Uh, Martin says. Uh, Sofidel? Um... Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, it works, and Martin looks away, blo uh, his face red. And so Fidel like and helps so Fidel up. Uh, Amy uh, sees uh, that so Fidel's nose is bleeding. That's no good, so Fidel, uh, Amy says. Uh, you hit your nose pretty badly. Uh, is Does it hurt? Oh, no, really, I'm fine. No, that won't do. Uh, Amy quickly uh, makes a co uh, cotton out of her string and urges Sofidel to put it on her nose. You know, that's how you take care of nosebleeds. <laughs> uh, keep it on for a bit until, the, until you feel like the nose, uh, until the bleeding stopped. Uh, so Fidel's like, oh, all right, fine, if you insist, I guess. Anyway, uh, we finally made it, uh, Martin says. Uh, Professor Klein, uh, this is Professor Klein's office. Klein Bottle is his full name. And uh, he's a bit of a close friend of mine, and he's the reason... Is that the Ah. She's on her hindi, way hindi back. Hindi pa siya nakita ni, ano, ni Martin, never pa. Hmm. Malakita na. Uh, I think she has been seen already. Hmm. Noo lang dating nila. Anyway, uh, if anyone has the connections to let you see, uh, to get you into the top floor, it'd be this guy. And I got, and I'm good friends with him, so I'm sure if you guys have a really good reason, he'll let you in. After uh, after all, uh, I'm we're gonna be under the guise that we're friends. No, not under the guise. We are friends now. So then, uh, he knocks on the door. Uh, Professor Klein, it's me, Martin. Oh, it's you. Go ahead, come in. I'm not particularly busy right now. Uh, door. Light. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you've brought some guests. Uh, Klein looks like a professor through and through. He's got the glasses, uh, yes. you know, like uh, standard looking, well kept brown hair. He's pretty tall. And uh, he's got a stethoscope on his thing, and on his desk is a bunch of papers that he's currently working on right now. So, what can I help you and your fine lady friends, Martin? Ah, yes! Uh, uh, these fine ladies here uh, are actually trying to get access to the top floor. They want to uh, meet with the head doctor. Hmm. I see. Well, they, you, uh, you girls better have a very good reason uh, to want to uh, visit the head doctor. He's currently in the middle of a very important meeting right now, and the top floor is only supposed to be uh, for very uh, important and high-figure people. So unless you have some connections, I'm afraid... Um, uh, my kind will will only be work will only be worthless uh, for you. So, speak. Mm. 
we don't need to elaborate the thing, but we are on a mission now. A very important mission. I see. Well, what kind of important mission? If it has anything to do with the head doctor, I'm. Uh, then you have to let us know. Do you have at least maybe some documents? So, we does see it geologically, right? Yes. And she's also a bit, a bit of a charmer. <laughs> That's like her whole thing. In school, she's treated like a princess and stuff. And she's the popular girl. <laughs> And she can only do that because she's got all the necessary social skills required to be the best absolute villainous bitch my that she is. Shall, yeah, all her social skills are social attributes are very high. If you could help me bring to that head professor. We will never forget your help. You did not help us, but you helped the whole country. Helping the whole country, eh? Well, then that has to be very important. But important matters like that usually have documents, don't they? So I'm sure if I'm sure if you truly are as important and necessary as you are, you would have shown me. Uh, documents by now anyway and actually why me why go through Martin uh, uh, you'd have you, you'd have access to the 10th floor even without me or Martin's help you know uh, Aya uh, gets close to Sophie Dell and whispers this is getting us nowhere quickly I've I've been through enough I've been through enough interviews to know uh, these types of people they're the suspicious and smart type. Yeah? They're the suspicious and smart type who knows all about important stuff like this. And uh, I have my journalism intuition tells me we need to employ a bit of fast talking if we want to get anywhere. You need to finish him off quickly. There must be something you can think of. Okay, since he... So, Fidel is malakas ang kanyang charm at may alam siya about the Pantrabida gang, right? May knowledge siya. Oh, yeah, you're right. You so, think, pwede niya paigitin. Do you think he can, she can use that knowledge as yeah, a leverage? Yeah, she can do it. Yeah, she can do it. Against yeah. Klein? Like, for all you know, he's just a professor if you suddenly bring up Contrabida. Uh to a hospital that largely doesn't know anything about Contrabida. <laughs> yes. And you're saying Sofidel's gonna try using that information. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Let me think. Edma actually has medical knowledge. Uh, if you look at her feet, one of them is autopsy. I could never find a proper word for it, so I just settled on autopsy. But uh, essentially, she has uh, medical knowledge and stuff. Mm, that's why she knows so much and is able to help uh, people and prevent them from dying in the first place. So, 
everyone's uh, help is... To, yeah, that one will try to interfere the conversation about between Sobido Aya and the Martin guy and the flying guy. I have an idea, then I said. Mm -hmm. Alright then. Uh, okay, so. I think I can use my knowledge as a since I have a medical field knowledge, maybe you could just help us, Klein and Martin. I will turn back the help that you will offer us. With a bit of help from Aya and Sofidel, Dedma is gonna use her knowledge and the uh, smooth talk. What you just said is absolutely bullshit and if this were real life, you would have been kicked out a long time ago. So I'm just going to retcon that. Okay. Leave the talking to me. Okay. <laughs> You're too stupid. I, I would have... Come on, how many doctor films and Korean dramas have you watched now? Can't you use any of that knowledge as inspiration? Like the good doctor yeah. or was it what was it called? Yeah. Like, there's there, there's these other shows as well, like all about doctors and uh, fucking uh, shit. Uh, or what about the prison whatever? <laughs> like come on. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Dedma will roll for learning and she will have advantage three total, I'll, I'll say. And uh, since this professor okay. is not a gullible person, I'll say he's gonna be pretty hard uh, to try beating. I'll say you'll need a, a 24 learning score to impress him. Is advantage ko? Three? Yes. And you'll need a 24 to impress the professor. Okay. Since uh, all over his office, is, it's adorned with medals and trophies and accolades of all the breakthroughs he's achieved for the Philippines. Remember that explode? Seven and four. Seven. Nick, wala na. There's no chance.
this is further proof that mom doesn't actually watch and pays attention to the stuff she does. <laughs> Multitasking is unhealthy. My computer teacher taught me that. It is quite counterproductive to try doing as many things as you can. Rather than simply focusing on one thing. You're not dying yet. No, I mean, pag naoperahan na si Mami, hindi ko na magagawa yung mga ganyan. I can do the, 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 the chores. Very good. Anyway, that must speaks up. Klein, M Professor Klein, was it? Uh, that must speaks up. Yes, and you are. Uh, what's her full name again? Para kasi ano si Mami ngayon eh. Lutang. Kapagay, always lutang naman si Mami kung hindi na tayo tayo. Deadma. Deadma Victima. You may not know me, but you might be familiar uh, with the final name. Hmm. Mrs. Victima. Ah, oh, I think I remember. I had a colleague once. Was that perhaps your father? Truly a shame what happened to him. Why bring him up suddenly? Blue Zenith, Mach 23. Uh, that must says those words and that, that words, uh, client's entire demeanor changes. Go on. Are you familiar with that name? Yeah? Why wouldn't I? It was I who procured that medicine. It's quite popular. People all over the news were all over the medicine when it first came out. I still remember. Yes, yeah, so Fidel. Uh, actually, no, not yet. It was reg regarded as a, uh, what do you call it? A miracle cure. And it solved a lot of crises. When it came out, why, why bring it up? You think talking about something, a, a popular medicine of sorts, uh, would br uh, that I created would bring you good favors from me? So Fidel speaks up. Yeah, even I know about that. My father brought it once, and perm and it permanently rendered him immune to the common cold. Quite amazing. This guy made it. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I was talking to someone so big. And he's friends with this loser, Mart this Martingale loser. <laughs> Three points in Mart Martin's just <laughs> Hmm. Yes. Wouldn't that be so great? You were the one who created Blue Zenith Mach 23. Hmm. Uh, Klein, who uh, eyes Deadma uh, sternly. <coughs> you said it yourself, so there's no escaping it. You've already uh, proved that you did know my father. Then I suppose that should mean that you should know as well uh, that it was my father who created that drug and that you stole it. Uh, everyone's in shock at, the, at hearing this. Uh, I is like, ooh la la, is that true? Why, that's the scandal of the century. I always thought that uh, that miracle drug was too suspicious uh, to only be made by one single man. 
Mr. Uh, Mr. Victi Victima was the creator. His fa her father, who mm -hmm. was a nila. doctor. Ito siya sa mga ano, scientists. Yes. My father worked hard and he was getting so close uh, along with working together with you to finish that medicine. But then he passed all of a sudden. And then you've decided you could take that opportunity. You get uh, all and, the credit. And take all the credit. How wonderful was that to let a to let a lone child a lone me uh, suffer uh, while you steal all the glory without a care in the world for your colleague, your childhood friend, your best friend, uh, for his uh, family to simply suffer while you hog all the glory. <coughs> oh. Nonsense! I deny all of your claims. Yes, Mr. Victima was indeed a good friend of mine, and yes, he did help uh, in procuring Blue Zenith, but uh, according to the books and the news, he was merely a co-founder. Uh, Why you can... Uh, I didn't take all the credit. I had a bunch of co-founders with me. Uh, Mr. Victima, along with nine other people, were there. But the lead uh, for discovering and creating that medicine was none other than me. So it only makes sense that I get all the credit. Yes, that's what all the news and what that's what you've uh, convinced everyone in the media. But I know the truth. And the truth is still, and I've been carrying the truth all too well with me. Uh, I'd like to introduce you, by the way, to uh, this girl right next to me. Her name is Aya Shamai Maru, and she's a journalist. Oh, uh, ah, yes, I've been doing some, I've been doing so. I'm a journalist, you see, and that's the reason why we want in uh, on 10th floor, but uh, that's, uh, but since I'm here anyway, I figured I might reopen up my investigation on this blue zenith drug and all of its trademarks and copyright and stuff and lo and behold i came across this wonderful lady right here and she taught and she told me some very interesting stuff oh yeah and what were those interesting stuff in the private library of the victima household there's some very mm, let's say discriminating evidence <laughs> Uh, it details all sorts of th stuff, including the creation of this blue, the creation process of this blue zenith. So, yung pagkamatay ng tatay niya, ano, hindi pa nakuklose kasi may ano pa. Mm, no, Deadma was the reason they died. Mm -hmm. If you remember, if you remember correctly mm -hmm. from her backstory. She's regarded as cursed child because of her ability to see people die 24 hours before they happen. Oh, nga. Kaya lang, nagkanuhan talaga patayin na yung tatay niya. Ito ang nila, blind, hindi. Hmm. Uh, uh, dead man, I, uh, continue the thing for a few more minutes, and by the end, Klein looks a bit, uh, perturbed. Because, yeah, uh, dead man, uh, although the death of Deadma's parents are largely kind of her own fault. Uh, Deadma and Aya also know uh, that even if uh, Deadma didn't my kill her parents, yeah, uh, he was going to do the deed himself. Uh, but conveniently enough, he didn't have to lay a finger because Deadma uh, came into existence. And it was all so convenient for him. Unfortunately, Deadma's a very uh, smart and uh, perceptive person. Okay, I give. I'll do anything, but please, the Blue Zenith is my, uh, their, our, me and your father's life's work. If this scandal goes up, do you have any idea what it would cost? We're not here to cause scandals, Mr. Cl Professor Klein. 
e del masses. We simply want access to the 10th floor. floor. If you do that, then mm, who knows? Maybe you'll see smoke go up near the, the near the victim uh, household sometime. Probably from some books being burned. Are you sure about that? Yes, it's that simple. Okay, fine. Martin, you and I are gonna have to talk about this. You've let you've let some real you've let some real troubling people. <laughs> uh, Martin, uh, uh, puts uh, taps on Dedma and Amy's shoulder and looks at them. Uh, and stuff. Oh, I didn't know you guys, you girls were quite scary, but man, uh, I, ca I kind of find it quite cute as well. I didn't know, I didn't know you guys had, were such important people. Well, then I'm sure whatever it is, I, you guys uh, uh, have yeah, every sure right yeah. uh, to fulfill your mission and enter the 10th floor even without proper access. Well, uh, me and Klein are gonna have a bit of a talk. Probably regarding my pay again. <laughs> uh, you guys don't need to stay here for that. I've helped you all I can. And thank you for helping us as well, so Fidel said. <coughs> uh, we'll be sure to fulfill our promise to you. Uh, and she winks and the four of them leave. And uh, as they leave, Ooh, they hear Martin get an earful from Klein, and uh, outside of the office is Rosas. Uh, oh, Rosas, when did you get here? Uh, so Fidel says. Uh, she's all uh, edgy and like freaking. Uh, what's the word for it? You know, loitering pose and stuff. <laughs> I've managed to get a peek into uh, the, top floor. the top floor, but I, the, uh, I couldn't get all that much info. It appears uh, security was rather high and I couldn't trust my uh, optic camouflage to work too well. So I'm afraid I wasn't of much help. How about you guys? Any, any progress? From what I could tell, there was some serious bus business and family drama going on. Um, we've dealt it in a good way, so nothing to worry about us. We have to finish this. <coughs> so can we go to the 10th floor now or yes, not? we can. They With the have... help of Marty and Professor Klein, we have now the access to the tenth floor. We have the co the key card. Oh, so Fidel uh, brings it out uh -huh. proudly. <laughs> so that's how we're gonna get in. All right. All that. Bakit di mo pinapakita yung tao sa tenth floor? Di pa nila nabas. Same leader na kwa kagita, di ba? Yes, the head doctor. Anyway, Martin and Klein can be f can get the frick out now. All right, Rosas, Deadma, and everyone else all hurry up to get to the elevator and get to the tenth floor. But uh, as they do, they hear a ding from the elevator, and the door opens. And uh, stepping out of the elevator. An old, frail man holding a cane as, w as well as on his other hand. A peculiar disc uh, that can't be mistaken for anything else. The, the id disc. Yes, the id disc. The last disc, right? Yes. He just casually, he casually doesn't even pay attention to you guys. And uh, he begins uh, slowly with his cane walking out. Slowly. Walking inside the... Elevator. He Somewhere stepped there. out. He left the elevator. He's out of the 10th floor now. <coughs> uh, 
Amy says, well, I guess we don't need to. I guess we didn't need to. Don't worry about getting access to the 10th floor anymore. The person we need is riding out in our eyes. What's the move now? Bukal pa din sa namin. Hindi ako sa'yo na. Ano nga to? Idea point? Idea point? Yung black? The green. Yung black. Legend points. You use them to get good luck. Yes. All right. What are you asking? Kaya asking wala si Mami. Dari ano nga si Mami? Bakit si tumatak mo sa isip ko? Okay, I will ask. How are we gonna deal with this old man? All right. Well, uh, first things first. Although you, you already know this information, so uh, I'll tell this to you for I'll retell this to you for free. Uh, Contrabida, uh, that is presumably the name of this old man, the boss of Contrabida, and his id is known as anti-disestablishmentarianism. As Mirai has said, it is a nearly invincible ability. Is that because Mirai? She's fighting the president along with Tokyo, Billy, and Tansia. Ah, pagparasigatong. Yes. This was how we decided to split. That is because anti-disestablishmentarianism's uh, id ability is retribute is known as retributive calamity. Anyone who tries to uh, oppose contra in any way, even just by thought, will subject them to. Calamity, uh, some sort of object, some sort of action, uh, will physically, will yes, happen. something yeah. uh, painful will happen uh, to the person who thinks, who even dares uh, try to attack Contra and his organization. <laughs> He's moving away uh, with his disc in tow as if taunting. However, uh, that is, uh, the retributive calamity only happens if you're already uh, afflicted by the curse. In order for the curse to be afflicted, Contra first has to touch a victim. And, if you remember correctly, none of you, so far, as far as you know, have been touched yet by Contra. Pero nakasama pala nila sa loob ng elevator yan. Sino? Sino? Contra. Huh? No, they couldn't get into the elevator. Ah, because pag baba lang ng elevator, dun na baba. Hindi yes. pa sila nakakapasok. Okay. Yes. And uh, uh, contra Contras walking slowly uh, from you guys. Mm -hmm. And he seems, it seems like he's planning on using the staircase. Uh, some nurses are greeting him and he's like, he's saying hi to them as he walks slowly and getting some praises. Well, Rosa said, what are you guys waiting for? We haven't been afflicted by the curse yet. This is our chance to strike. He's shown himself. As long as we as long as long as we can kill him immediately, then there's no way calamity can affect us. Now, Rosa said, but everyone else is uh, a bit suspicious and like, yeah, but This Kanka guy is a very powerful one. Fine then. If you guys are just gonna sit there, then I'll do the work. Then I'll do the work. Uh, Rosa says. Uh, then must like, no, don't be impatient. Uh, nothing good will come. We need a proper strategy. Uh, then must said, I do have one. Stab him. Very. Very strongly and quickly. Hey, you fucking bastard! Face me! Uh, at that noise, at, at, at Rosa saying that uh, the, bo uh, the boss pauses, uh, but he doesn't turn around, and the nurses who hear and stuff uh, are all super confused now and stuff. <laughs> no, it's it. Ids can be seen by other people. Ten, no, eleven years 
11 years I've been working under you. 11 years of it, punishment and torture from what you did to me and my family. But now, I can finally have revenge. Stay back time. Yes, it's... I will make sure that you will die in my hands. Yes, exactly. That's what she says. <laughs> <laughs> Reality crumbles around the around Rosas and Contra, and now it looks like they're the only two people uh, in the hospital. Meanwhile, Sofidel and everyone else are all confused as Rosas and Contra seemingly disappear from their vision. Mm -hmm. What's what? happening, guys? This guy is this. That, that girl is crazy, Sofidel says. She's actually trying, she's actually thinking of going one on one with Contra. Uh, and then Deadmas just looking uh, at Rosas and Contra uh, as they disappear. And as they disappear, visions from her eyes, she sees them. No, and so this asks, can't be. And Sofidel asks, Deadma, have you seen Rosa, senor? Liar, liar. Death. Everywhere I look, I see nothing but her dead body. We need to help her somehow. Let's uh. go. We have to hurry. Rosas gets to go first. Okay. Rosas will attack with her tempestino. Well, he's only one guy, so that doesn't re that's not really important. <laughs> Just at uh, just attack. No, I attack man. Hmm. Her id is known as Tempestissimo. Oh. She's got a whole bunch of glass shards which she can use to cut the shit, give gla uh, gl bubog out the shit out of people. <laughs> All right. I is she gonna focus on? Focus action. All right. Then in that case. Roll for energy with advantage four. Alright, so 
Oh, Rosas. Oh, rains down. A ra uh, an entire. Uh, no, she doesn't rain down. It's just a single shard. Oh, and it flies at tremendous speed. Oh, a lightning fast speed. Towards Contra. With the speed of an airplane. It's at the speed, like the speed of an actual lightning bolt. Ah, you must have this. Uh, it, uh, a piercing noise happens. And Rosas looks with, uh, with the psychotic glee. Uh, however, uh, a wooden shard uh, cuts Rosas' cheek. Uh, and she's confused. Finally, Kandra turns around. Impressive, young lady. You've got my attention now. Uh, and Rosa sees uh, what she was able to hit. No, but I aim for your head. Oh, then why did you? Then why did you shatter my cane? Oh well. He drops it to the ground. I don't need it anyway. Anyway, that's quite impressive. You got real close. Anti-disestablishmentarianism anti has never ma well, has always been able to deflect attacks. But this is the first I've been somewhat semi-injured. As you see here, not only did you injure my cane, you got, you injured you also damaged my very expensive 500,000 peso pants. That's quite a serious dam deal of damage. May I ask for your name? My name, and Ro my name is Rosas. And I was before a member of your Juan Cabinet Hmm, was before, by stating those, you are attacking Contra Vida, are you not? Yes, and I will surely kill you. Really? What makes you think you got what it takes? And Rosa simply points at Contra. You, you will be the reason you die. Eleven years ago, you sought to experiment and traumatize the lone four-year-old child for the purpose of creating an invincible id ability. Eleven years later and now that same girl who bore fruit, an incredibly powerful id ability, and now and worked for a time as an executioner of your filthy criminal organization. Anak pala to? Si Rosa? No. Her parents were killed by Contra. You were so confident with, with how when you raised me and took me to your to your organization. So trustworthy that I would never betray you. That you never even bothered to touch me a single time. And let me become affected by the curse of calamity. Well, that will be your one, only and final mistake. As long as I'm not yet afflicted, then I have a chance. One hit! One hit is all it takes, and you'll be dead. <laughs> but you already did hit me once. Then this second one will be the last. Then... By all means, my id ability is purely defensive. Try as I might, I can't try fighting back. And uh, by the looks of things, you have me uh, quite cornered. Whatever shall I do apart from just stand here and accept my incoming doom? Rosas is utterly infuriated by that. And so she prepares another attack. Contra does nothing for his turn. And now it's Rosas' turn again. I 
Ano yung brain focus niya na napagtasan? She already has it activated. Uh, to everyone else, Rosas and Contra don't exist. But to Contra and Rosas, they're the only two people that exist. That is the illusion she conjured to ensure everyone's safety and that she can succeed. So is Rosas gonna try attacking again? Pero gagamitan niya ng ano uh, Take your time, I won't rush I won't go anywhere In a bit, uh, considering how, you know, I can't go anywhere Charge up your strongest and fastest attack. I'll tell, I'll warn you right now, it won't work. What are you saying? I'm saying you should give up. If you come back to me, then I shall pre I shall look the other way and pretend you never so, did this. Magpupokus action siya, pero uh, ano hindi niya lang sa, yung sarili niya na ikukonsil niya. Kumbaga parang nagawa siya ng shield niya. Hmm? She'll turn herself invisible? Yeah. Alright, she can do that. So let's start with turning her invisible. Roll for influence. With advantage 4. Alright, that's good. Yes, and they both explode. So yes, roll them again. Oi, zero again. Nice. And one. Alright, one more. Four. A thirty-seven. That is definitely a success. Tempestissimo. That is the name I've given my id. It is the song of hatred. The song of impending demise. A fitting name for it. And now this song is targeted towards you. This song is now chanting your demise, Contra. Uh, she says as she's suddenly turning invisible. Tempestissimo. Let there be no light. Let there be no sound. And lastly, uh, and then uh, Rosas. <coughs> uh, Rosas grabs a shard and uh, points it towards Contra. Uh, she can't be seen anymore, nor can she be heard. Uh, but she says this, and lastly, let there be no life. As uh, as she creates a gigantic. A sword made out of glass and, uh, a and aims to throw it towards Contra. She's invisible now. So, uh, is she gonna attack? Yeah. Alright. Then, uh, roll for energy with advantage 5, I'll say. 5? Yes. That's a nine. Ito na lang, seven. Yes. Nine and seven. And... <coughs> Double next zero. Uh, 
11. Alright. 27. Yep. Oh, you already calculated? 9, 7, and 11. 9 plus 7 plus 11. Yep, that is indeed a 27. <coughs> Alright. Contra can't see it. But Rosas hurls a gigantic glass sword uh, towards Contra. It flies invisibly towards Contra. With him none the wiser. It's over. This is my special move. This is my ultimate attack. No one's be ever been able to escape it before. Once they are within Tempestissimo's realm, I can create this dark obsidian blade at attack. A gigantic sword formed out of nothing but my Tempestissimo. At this, it has immense speed and power, and none of my victims have ever managed to escape it before. Yes, all those who dared oppose Contrabida, who uh, tried their best, but ultimately, uh, some, most of them who were only able to survive for as long as until I hold, held off this attack. Uh, and now you yourself will fall prey to this ultimate attack. Quite the ironic and fitting ending for you, isn't it? Die, Contra! Uh, she says as the sword finally uh, is about to go for the gullet of Contra, but... Just before it reach, but just before it even so much as so much as even a single atom of that blade reaches Contra's throat, suddenly Rosas and Contra can be seen by everyone again, <coughs> including the sword, which is now just tossed in the middle of its attack. Oh, oh, an invisible blade. Uh, Contra says. Quite the formidable attack. Unfortunately for you. Uh, he just casually fling, flings away uh, the obsidian blade attack. Denma, Amy, and Sophie Deller and Aya are surprised uh, at Rosa suddenly appearing again. Rosas! Uh, they say. But... Unfortunately for you, my anti-disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> you know how everyone else tries to fight with their inabilities? They're cowards, all of them. They try to hide what their ability can do because they believe information is necessary if you want to win an id battle, but not for me. I find it much easier to warn people of anti-disestablishmentarianism's ability because it's not as if anyone can do anything against it anyway and those who fail to heed those warnings uh, Deadma and everyone else finally gets a good look at Rosas and they are shocked she's been shot by a bullet it came from the roof a stray bullet, probably from a fight that happened just nearby. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Maybe na maan, si Rosas. Very unlucky. Uh, her eye, uh, one of her eyeball uh, drops down into the ground and she bleeds profusely. Uh, her brain has been absolutely pierced by this. And she drops down into the ground, bloody, dead. Her, her death was instantaneous. Only fitting, considering how hardly she tried to attack me. And the stronger the attack, the harder uh, calamity strikes back. All the nurses and everyone nearby are all panicking now. Oh God, someone! There's been a murder! And the contra said, Looking to the group, Amy, Sophie, Del Aya, and Denma. So you know, everyone who attacks me, will, they will meet their end. He says that, and everyone shakes where they play uh, in place, 
complete and total fear. <coughs> so this, uh, so Fidel says in her mind. <laughs> ah, right. This is what fear is. This is what it means to be afraid. As I looked at Contrabida, as he picked up his broken cane and hat and begins walking off once again, I felt fear and helpless. I couldn't get close to him. None of us could. His power, his dominance, even Rosas, who he raised to become the most ferocious end-wielder, was in the end ultimately not a match. Oh, I guess I never told her this, but uh, she was a bit mistaken if she thought I was careless. Of course I've inflicted her with my curse during her childhood. She just simply don't remember it anymore. In that case, that's her one and only mistake. And as for you four, I don't see the point in keeping it secret. But you four are also affected by the curse already. And that must like, what? But how? We've never even laid a finger on you yet. Oh, really? Hmm. Let me ask you a question. Who am I? You are the Panta leader. leader. Who is invoking a deadly. Hmm. Yes, that is my alias. In truth, I am nothing more and nothing less. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. I am an id. And nothing else. Wait, so that means... Uh, Deadma gets the picture and she pieces it all together. The one who activated your ability was... Your user? Uh, and then suddenly... Uh, uh, you hear a bucket fall and water uh, spilling. Oops, that's my bad. It's oh. Martin the janitor all along. Yes, flashback. Uh, 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 Martin touches Amy and Sofidel at their shoulders. Wow, I didn't know you guys were such big people. Uh, and then talking to I, uh, talking to Sofidel here. Oh, that's my bad for letting you slip like that. Do you need my help? Do you need my help? It's the least I can do. And then back during the entrance, uh, do you need help? Uh, as she ta as he talks to Aya for the first time. And they shake hands as uh, as as Martin offers to become a tour guide. Now you see, you never had a chance. Sophie, with everyone being afflicted by calamity now, how and their strongest id, -wiel uh, id wielder in their party killed in one shot just like that? What hope does our group have? against there, such an impossible ability. Is there a chance to win? Will the, is there even even the frailest of hope that they'll be able to take back the disc? Or is Contra perhaps hiding a weakness? Find out in the next episode. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, you see him a bit perturbed. We'll end things here. You need to be in your A game yeah, for this fight. Nang ano? Yeah, I don't know either.
I was hoping playing games would let you forget about that. You know, that's kind of the whole point of doing these kinds of things. Thank <laughs> you. 